we saw in March uh, consumer sentiment dipped 1.8%, uh, uh, down to 84.4%, uh, still in deep pessimistic territory. Now, the last couple of months we had seen some glimmers of hope around uh, the consumer uh, that uh, some of the cost of living pressures might be easing, that they were a little bit more hopeful around the direction for uh, interest rates over the medium term. Um, this monthly update shows uh, that improvement is still going very slowly uh, and has been offset a little bit by renewed concerns about the economy and the outlook for the next 12 months. Um, when we look at the five components of the index, the big mover this month was around expectations for the economy in the next 12 months. That component index dropped 4.5% month to month. It's still up on a couple of months ago, so we are still seeing an improvement. But certainly the uh, December quarter national accounts that was released at the start of the month probably uh, emphasised uh, the weakness that the economy has seen, particularly the soft finish to last year, uh, that probably played into some of those results. And around the, sort of the inflation piece, it's still a dominant concern, cost of living pressures really still bearing down quite heavily on the Australian consumer. Where we saw some slight improvement was around additional questions on news recall. Uh, so over the last year it's been all inflation, inflation, inflation. Um, still very much the case, that's the dominant topic people recall, but perhaps a little less oppressive. A year ago it was uh, three quarters of consumers re uh, recall news on inflation, now it's more like 50%. Um, and the, the net negativity is a little less pronounced. That's still pretty negative overall, uh, but perhaps the acute uh, oppressive cost of living pressures have uh, eased a little bit over the last month. Um, other bits and pieces from the survey de detail are very much the same. Uh, assessments around housing showed a little bit of an improvement, uh, particularly in Victoria, uh, where affordability has improved a little bit over the last six months. Uh, but generally, we're still seeing there's a big gap between uh, pessimistic reads on whether it's a good time to buy because it's unaffordable, uh, but still upbeat reads around expectations for house prices. And around the labour market, largely unchanged. Uh, still pretty comfortable um, with the current conditions. Really a, an assessment that points to a flat labour market situation continuing, rather than a sharply weaker or sharply stronger outlook around jobs. And that is something that is anchoring sentiment a little bit at the margin. It's preventing us from seeing the really dire reads that we saw in the early 90s. So it does look like it's still slow going uh, for the consumer. Uh, around that interest rate view, for example, we saw again a, a significant turnaround over the course of the survey week. So consumers were quite upbeat prior to the RBA decision uh, and then weakened significantly in the back end of the survey week. Again, that sort of suggests to us that they are hopeful that they'll get the all clear signal from the RBA on inflation at some stage. The RBA is still not confident enough around the inflation trajectory to, to really utter those words. Um, and so consumers, again, a little bit disappointed around uh, the interest rate view, still very uncertain around the interest rate view. So we asked them specifically where they expect interest rates to be in 12 months. 40% expect mortgage rates to be higher. 20% uh, expect them to be about the same, 20% expect them to be lower. So they're still pretty EG around the outlook for uh, policy. Um, when we sort of do a flyover of the various subgroups, you know, it makes some, for some interesting reading. Um, you know, we do have some pockets of outright optimism. Um, when we look at uh, people that own investment properties, for example, are actually net positive. Uh, people in Western Australia are quite positive. Uh, 18 to 24 year olds are actually quite positive as well. I think that uh, reflects the labour market conditions there for, for the youth uh, workers. And males in general tend to be much more positive or less pessimistic than females at the moment. Um, at the other end of the spectrum though, uh, you know, older age groups, uh, Gen X uh, as well, which is sort of at the pinch of the affordability and, and high debt uh, servicing costs uh, issue, uh, more pessimistic and females and teachers uh, at the other end of the spectrum in terms of confidence. So within that weak picture you do have variations but you know the, the pessimism is pretty widespread and it does capture that uh, the general co uh, nature of the cost of living pressure is still bearing down. So all in all uh, a, a slight dip month to month uh, you know, retracing some of the gains we've seen uh, some tentative signs of improvement but still very slow going um, and really waiting on that all clear signal from the RBA I think around inflation before consumers can allow themselves to be a little less pessimistic about the outlook. The content of this recording is informational and of general nature only and is not intended to constitute a research report or reflect any recommendation or financial advice.
It has been prepared without taking into account your objectives, financial situation or needs, and investment decisions should not be based on it. You should obtain your own independent advice before proceeding with any investment decision. Whilst every effort has been taken to ensure that the contents are correct and any opinions, forecasts, conclusions are reasonably held based on information at the date of recording, Westpac does not make any representation or warranty as to the accuracy or completeness of the statements or information contained in this recording, and any liability therefore is expressly disclaimed to the extent permitted by law. None of the material included in this recording should be copied, published or reproduced in whole or in part without the prior written permission of Westpac.